say it can and will be used against you in a court on, of law. Insanity, if you want a lawyer, but you can't just risk all of it. He's not going to be charged. Do you understand these rights, yes or no? No, not another word. I want to see him put his daughter in prison. Stepdaughter. God, I don't even care anymore. Well, I do. Will you tell Jesse the truth? I told the truth. I was driving. I was driving. I was driving. Stop this insanity. Shut up. Let's go. Yeah. No, Carl, I'm at the station now. Well, then keep it off the airwaves. Right. Andre, what's going on? Colby? We got here as soon as we could. Hey, you're here just in time to watch us get booked for murder. Somebody want to clue me in? They're trying to charge him with Novak's hit and run. No car, no proof. Hubbard's doing a real bang-up job as chief. All three claim they were driving. Jess, I'm going to need to talk to my son in private. <sighs> Look, they're just kids, all right? They didn't do anything evil or intentional. Sweetheart, Look, please, let's just slow down. Baby, they confessed. It's over. Do you understand your rights? Yes or no? Should we move this past? It takes at work. It's a long shift. Really, really long. Hey. Do you smell that? New aftershave? No. It's the gasoline, Queenie. Get up. Quick, get out of here. Settle down, Kendall. It's just a it's just a key. It's right? a key that Annie hid, which means it's a secret. So you said now. Twice. Did you know about this key? No. Did anybody here at Fusion? No. That means it's a secret. I mean, it could be anything. It could be to a, a diary. I don't know, a lockbox, a a locker at a bus station in Texas? She's never even been to Texas. How do you know that? How do you know? How do you know anything about Annie at all? You're with Greenlee, aren't you, Ryan? That's why you're not calling me back. Unless you light a match. Well, then I'm not leaving. The gas kills brain cells? Yeah, well, uh, it's too smart anyway. Very intimidating. Uh, can you go and get me a sponge with some soap and water? Sure. Should I be offended that you are so easily distracted from me? I smell some really bad gas. And I knew it couldn't be you. <laughs> yeah, because I'm roses and... Fresh cut grass and a little bit of charm for you. Thanks. Now, if you see bubbles, yeah. that means it's still a leak. Well, no bubbles. Is there anything you can't do? Oh, this is not the kind of action I was looking for tonight. <sighs> yeah, well, there's the mood going to the door, making a break for it. Oops, well, too late. It's gone. What do you want to do now? We could uh, 
go and tell everyone how you saved our lives. Yeah, we could air this place out and um, go get a drink. What do you say? Okay. You know what? We should put some clothes uh, on first. Good idea. What if this key is the clue to who the baby's real father is? What? Well, I mean, what if... What if Annie did cheat on you? And the, and what if the, the, this baby is, is his, whoever he is? For the last time, Kendall, I am the baby's father, okay? I passed the big test and everything. Okay, well, maybe it's a coincidence. Okay, so, so basically what you're saying is that Annie had an affair, she had an affair, and then she got pregnant with another man's child, and just by some master stroke of telepathy, she knew the procedure was never done, and I could father a child, just tie it all together really nice. Well, it could sort of maybe happen like that. I don't know. I don't know. Ryan, I just know that she's keeping something from you. And she I am is. keeping something from her, Kendall. It's a little late for me to be righteous. No, you are hiding your feelings for Greenlee. But the difference is, Ryan, you're doing it to protect Annie. Now, is her lie to protect you or betray you? <sighs> it's supposed to be your daddy, sweetheart. He's supposed to find us and promise to never let us go. But Zach will be here soon. He has to find us so your daddy will realize how much he loves us. And never think about Greenlee again. <laughs> Thank God you're here. I'm with you. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Come I was down. afraid to move because because of the baby. Yeah, be back. <coughs> what? I didn't call the EMTs. I did. I was I was afraid. I was overreacting, but I couldn't think straight. Zach, this baby has to be okay. It'll be fine. Daddy's gonna be just fine. Just relax. Richie Novak didn't kill himself, and apparently these three young people think this is some kind of game. Well, evidently you do, too, if you think you're going to take this mess before the DA. I get a confession, I take it. That's a damn lie, and you know it. Look, look, nothing happens until I speak to my son. I want to talk to Colby, too. Martin, stay out of this. Colby's nothing to you. Adam, come on, that's enough. It doesn't matter, one way or another. All three of them are adults. You're really going to go through with this? You're going to arrest Cass? Well, explain this to me. Ted, I don't know what to say. She confessed. Perry, would you separate the suspects again? Is my daughter under arrest or not? Move it, Perry. Now! Cassandra, baby, we're going to sort this out. I promise you. Perry, you overpriced empty suit. You better be on, on a plane back to Pine Valley right now. Why are they all confessing to this? Some genius way to tie the investigation up in knots. Probably Colby's idea. Colby said they had some sort of pact of silence. Oh, you you already got to talk to Colby? Yeah, yeah, not just now, but yes. In other words, you already knew about it. Who else? Well, um, Dad got rid of Colby's car so you can count him in. Petey Cortland, he knows. Yeah, I heard he was hanging out with him. I guess I should be grateful my little brother's not down here confessing, too. At least not yet. Has Jesse interviewed anybody else besides the kids? Not that I know of. That means he's trying to scare them. He figures if he goes on long enough about Miranda and bookings, whoever drove that car will actually confess. You know who it is, don't you? Tad, I want to talk to you about this. But right now, I have a feeling Angie is probably ready to crack, so I'm going to talk to her. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I never expected... You have nothing to be sorry about, and neither does Jesse. Oh, the hell he doesn't. He shouldn't have listened to me. Cassandra, she she was angry and, and defiant. She wouldn't open up and just listen to me. And, and, and now... They're scared, all right? They're scared, and we all are. She told me that I chose Jesse over her, did I? By telling him to bring her here. How are we going to help them if they're not going to let us? She always knew that she could count on me. What have I done? All right, man, tell me something. Jesse, why are you pushing my son so you hard? You are a 